Hi students, hope all are fine and safe at your home. In the last class, we have completed our third chapter, Fractions and Numerals in Fractions. It's a very small chapter and it is a mathematical game. Today, we are going to start a new chapter, the fourth chapter, Touching Up Letters using LibreOffice Writer application. So let us start the class. So our chapter name is Touching Up Letters and we are using an application called LibreOffice Writer. Okay students, so today we are going to discuss this much topics. So our first topic is definition of LibreOffice Writer. I will explain what is the use of LibreOffice Writer and all. Second topic is how to open the software LibreOffice Writer. And finally, I will show you a table. The table is nothing but to familiarize with the keys used in LibreOffice Writer. Okay, the keys like backspace, delete key, caps lock key, shift key, etc. So I'll explain in detail at that time. So these are the three topics which we are going to discuss in today's class. So let us start with the first topic, definition of LibreOffice Writer. So I have written here two points. What is the first point? Read out carefully, LibreOffice Writer is a software. It is a software which help us to create or compose okay which help us to create what all things letters we can type letter inside LibreOffice writer what is the second thing notices we can create notices in LibreOffice writer what is the third thing posters we can create posters in LibreOffice Writer software and finally we can create articles also in LibreOffice Writer. So this is the use of software LibreOffice Writer. So once again I repeat LibreOffice Writer is a software. It is a software. What is its use? which help us to create what all things yes letters we can type letters inside this software we can create notices inside this software we can create posters inside this software we can create articles inside this software etc is it clear my dear students hope all are clear about the first point what is the second point Read out carefully. LibreOffice Writer is a software. Again, it is a software. We know that. In which package? LibreOffice package. So don't by heart this sentence like that. I will show you what is known as a package. What do you mean by package? First, you go to your applications. At the left top corner you all know applications here you can see education education is a package that consists of these much softwares did you understood education is a package that consists of so many softwares education kits is also a package that consists of this much software is graphics is a package that consists of 
this much software in graphics we have already studied one software what is that yes color paint so color paint is a software which is included in which package yes graphics package understood my dear students so likewise LibreOffice Writer. Here you can see LibreOffice Writer. LibreOffice Writer is a software which is included in which package? Yes, Office Package. LibreOffice Package. So hope all of you clear about these two points. So once again, what is the use of LibreOffice Writer? It is used to create what all things? Letters, notices, posters, articles, etc. It is included in office package. Now we can move to the next topic. How to open LibreOffice Writer. So there are three steps. The first step is go to applications. Second step, select Office. And third step, click on LibreOffice Writer. So I'll show it here, then it will be very clear for you. So go to Application at the top left corner. Select Office Package. Inside that you can see LibreOffice Writer. Click on that. So this is how to open the software. Now one more important thing. Can you see here a blinking vertical line? What is the name of this blinking vertical line? Yes, it is known as cursor. I repeat, this blinking vertical line is known as cursor so wherever we are placing this cursor we can type at that position we can type here suppose I am placing the cursor here we can type it here so wherever we are placing the cursor on that place or position we can type the letters that is the use of cursor. Now we will move to our last topic in today's class. I have given here a table. It consists of six keys. And I have written here the uses of that key. So we will discuss each one by one. So you may be already familiar with these things. So let us start with the first one. Spacebar. In our keyboard, you all know that the, the longest key in our keyboard. That is spacebar. What is its use? It is used to insert space between words once again it is used to insert space between words so I'll show it then it will be very clear for you so I'm going to type here my name so I want to insert a space between my and name so i will place the cursor here and i will press which key spacebar key one time now the space has occurred okay my name again space is again space bar sergeant okay my dear student so these things you already know but i am telling the very very basics for your better understanding 
what is the next key enter key what is its use it is used to bring the cursor to the next line i repeat enter key is used to bring the cursor to the next line i'll show it suppose i have written a line here my name is sajan now i want to move to the next line so what i have to do i need to press which key yes enter key so it will move to the next line type something my name is ronnie i want to move to next line so again press enter key my name is sini exit so this is the use of enter key now the third one shift key okay so while using this key what you have to do you have to keep on pressing the shift key i repeat keep on pressing the shift key and type then what will happen we will get capital letters did you understood my dear students i repeat keep on pressing the shift key hold the shift key don't leave it and type the letters then we will get capital letters so i will show it here i have pressed the shift key and i am going to type now my name is sachin okay my dear students now yeah. this is in capital letters there is one more key in keyboard to get capital letters that is caps lock key it is in the left side of the keyboard caps lock key at the left side all the students please check in your keyboard at the left side you can see caps lock key so its use is to it is used to get capital letters now the fourth and fifth one i will show it by using an example okay so backspace key and delete key both are used for erasing the letters both are used for erasing the letters but the backspace key will erase towards the left of the cursor towards the left side of the cursor and delete key will erase the letters to the right side of the cursor please try to understand the difference here both are used for erasing the letters but back space key will erase the letters to the left side of the cursor and delete key will erase the letters to the right side of the cursor so i'll show it with an example here i'm going to type a word computer okay and i'm going to place the cursor in between p and u please listen my dear students i have type the word computer and i am placing my cursor between p and u now i am going to press backspace key in the keyboard what will happen which letter will move which letter will erase yes the letter p will erase now i am going to press backspace 
did you got my students okay now again the same word computer i have placed my cursor in between the letters p and u you can see the cursor here now i am going to press delete key then what will happen which letter will erase my dear student tell me yes the letter u so i am going to press now yes is it clear my dear students the difference between backspace and delete key hope all are clear about it so let us do a quick revision what is the definition of libreoffice writer libreoffice writer is a software which is used to create what all things letters notices posters articles etc and this libreoffice writer software is included in which package yes in office package i will show you here libreoffice writer software is included in which package office package how to open libreoffice writer go to application select office and click on libreoffice writer now a table for familiarizing with the keys in libreoffice writer so first one space bar what is its use it is used to insert space between words enter key to bring the cursor to the next line to get capital letters there are two method either you have to keep on pressing the shift key and type the letter or press caps lock key in keyboard at the left side the backspace key and delete key both are used for erasing the letters which we have already typed but the difference is backspace key will erase towards the left side of the cursor and delete key will erase towards the right side of the cursor as i have shown you the exam so hope all are clear about all the topics which we have discussed today these topics all are the very very basics of libreoffice writer so thank you thank you very much my dear students